People are talking about healthy lifestyles a lot these days. What to eat is a big part of that conversation. Although people do choose what to eat and drink, they can only choose from among foods and beverages that are available to them. Where do those foods and beverages come from? Think of the trip from farm to fork as a food stream. Far upstream, the source is the food supply, all the foods that farmers produce. Then the foods go through processing. These foods flow downstream through many outlets before they end up on your plate. This raises an interesting question. Does our country's overall food supply provide the right mix of foods to give all Americans a balanced and healthy diet? The basic messages about eating a healthy diet have been around for a long time. Eat more fruits, vegetables, and whole grains. Cut back on calories, sodium, unhealthy fats, and added sugars. If you drink alcohol, do so in moderation. What if everyone wanted to eat this way? Would it be possible? Scientists at the National Cancer Institute, a part of the Federal National Institutes of Health, did a study to answer this question. They examined whether the U.S. food supply is balanced enough to provide the amounts of foods and nutrients recommended by the dietary guidelines for Americans. The federal government has issued and updated these guidelines every five years since 1980. The NCI scientists used a scorecard called the Healthy Eating Index, or HEI, to grade the food supply. The closer the match to the guidelines, the better. An ideal score is 100. The HEI covers these 12 areas. Using it, the scientists graded the food supply as it was in 1970 and went to 2010. In 1970, the food supply met recommendations in some areas, but didn't do so well in others. For example, the recommended level for total protein foods was met, but total vegetables were only supplied at roughly half the recommended level. 40 years later, the picture was basically the same not such a good grade. So where does the food supply fall short then and now? Not enough fruits, vegetables, whole grains, and dairy products. Too many calories and unhealthy fats. Too much sodium, added sugars, and alcohol. This study has a clear message. The country's overall food supply does not provide the right mix of foods to give all Americans a balanced and healthy diet. Decision makers and industry need to make deliberate efforts to provide a supply of foods that is consistent with nutrition and health recommendations. The health and well-being of our children depend on it.